today I'm gonna show you how to create walls that you can blast holes in just like this. Last week I did a video about how to make first person mode in Fortnite Creative. Well, I showed this clip in that video. <laughs> Hold on. Now people were kind of freaking out about how the wall was breaking and I wanted to show you today how to do that. People were also asking for the code to that map and at the time I didn't have it but never did tweeted it out and here's the code. It's right above me. I just want to jump into this map and kind of show it to you just for a minute. It's really cool. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. So you start off in this little room and you have wood and metal to buy things with it. So we're going to buy the uh, drum shotgun here and a chiller grenade. Why not? And then we're going to wait for the game to start. I believe this is just a one V one map. Okay, so now we're here in first person. This is our waiting room until it starts. And remember guys, you can go and watch how to do first person in creative mode on my last video. I'll leave a link to that one in the description below. Okay, the timer has started. Now you'll see these walls throughout the map that you can destroy. I'm gonna destroy one of where the opposing player would be. So this looks like it right here. <laughs> oh, I ran out of ammo. Reload! <laughs> Reload. Let me in! All right, we're in. All right, so that's basically it. The map, it's a defuse the bomb thing, I believe. I haven't really played this with anyone else. I have no friends. Just kidding, guys. Really cool map, really unique use of the walls, and just a fun thing to play 1v1 against someone. All right, let me show you how to do this trick, guys. It's really cool. So first, I'm just gonna put down a few walls and floors just to, for a reference point. All right, there's my very fancy hallway right here. <laughs> and now we wanna add a destructible wall right here. So we're gonna go back to our galleries and look up the outdoor residential gallery which is right here we're gonna open that up and then you're gonna find these pieces at the bottom and you can play with any one of these but I'm gonna play with this one because this is the same one that never to use now I'm gonna make this so it's facing the right direction okay there we go now this piece the default size is that big the problem with that size is it's just a little too small when you're trying to line it up perfectly like even using the 32 grid snap is just not quite enough it works fine if you're going side to side like this but as soon as you try to go up one step you can see there's holes being left so what you want to do is take the piece and just resize it a little bit just you know a couple notches up above what it is so i'm going to do three notches one two three so now this size should work for a vertical wall yeah that's probably okay actually i might go up just a little bit so i'm going to size it up three more clicks one two three so this way we should have plenty of overlap okay so now i'm going to copy this across the wall here as far as i want it to go so i'm going to start right here and go boom and then just go all the way across i got a little off here dang it and i gotta get back on Doing this stuff can be a little bit annoying sometimes. Oh my gosh, it's off again. Okay, so now we have a wall that goes all the way across. We need to do more height on it, but this is the trick, guys. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, guys, going up. Okay, I've copied everything, and I'm just gonna click and then go on up. This doesn't take too long at this point. All right, so now we've got this wall here. It looks like it's part of this brick wall. It looks just like the brick or whatever. If you had this every other one, it looked like it was part of the design. And now we can uh, blast through it, right? Oh, creating holes, creating holes, guys. We're creating holes. Yeah. Here's Nanners. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It looks really cool. It's a really awesome effect. I actually want to see what this looks like if I shoot a rocket at it. Wow, it actually doesn't do that much splash damage. Oh, I killed myself! But now you can see we have a really cool, like, new type of wall that can become a really fun thing for your maps. Whether you're trying to shoot someone through it or just get through to the next area. Just think if you had to, like, blow up a wall and you're trying to get through it as there's, like, zombies bearing down on you. How fun would that be? So hopefully this will help you in your builds, guys, and uh, I can't wait to see what you guys do with it.